What if I told you the way you talk to yourself could be holding you back from achieving your goals? It might sound surprising, but it's true. Our inner dialogue can have a powerful impact on our mindset and our ability to succeed in life. The good news is that we can change our inner dialogue and cultivate a more positive and empowering mindset. In this video, we'll discuss five steps you can take to improve your inner dialogue and start living a more fulfilling life. If you want to take your inner dialogue to the next level, stick around and you'll learn how to start improving your mindset today. Hi, my name is Damon and welcome back to the channel where we develop the winning mindset for financial success. Whether you're an entrepreneur, investor, or someone looking to improve your financial situation, having a winning mindset is essential for success. And our inner dialogue is a key component of that mindset. So let's jump in and explore these five steps that can help you take control of your inner dialogue and start achieving your goals today. Step one, become aware of your thoughts. The first step to improving your inner dialogue is to become more aware of your thoughts. This means taking a step back and observing your thoughts without judgment. Our thoughts are constantly running through our minds, but we often don't pay attention to them. Take some time each day to reflect on your thoughts. You can do this by journaling, meditating, or simply taking a few moments to be still and observe. As you do this, pay attention to the tone of your content and your thoughts. Are they positive or negative? Are they helpful or unhelpful? By becoming more aware of your thoughts, you can start to understand how they impact your mood and behavior. For example, if you find yourself constantly thinking negative thoughts such as, I'm not good enough, or I always mess things up. It's important to recognize these thoughts. These thoughts can be harmful and lead to feelings of self-doubt and anxiety. Once you become aware of negative self-talk, you can start to challenge these thoughts and replace them with more positive, constructive thoughts. Step two, reframe negative thoughts. The second step to improving your inner dialogue is to reframe negative thoughts into more positive ones. This is known as cognitive restructuring and it involves changing the way you think about a situation. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, try saying, I can do this if I take it step by step. Or instead of saying, I'm a failure, try saying, I made a mistake, but I can learn from this and do better next time. Reframing negative thoughts can take practice, but over time, it can help you develop a more positive outlook in life. It's important to remember that you can't always control the situations that you find yourself in, but you can control how you think about them. By reframing negative thoughts into positive ones, you can start to feel more empowered and more control of your life. This can lead to self-esteem and more positive inner dialogue and so much more. Step three, understand command phrases. This is actually my favorite step. The way we talk to ourselves can have a significant impact on our inner dialogue. One way to improve the way we talk to ourselves is to understand and recognize command phrases. Command phrases are words we use to give ourselves instructions or make demands on ourselves. These phrases can be positive or negative and can have a powerful impact on our thoughts and feelings. For example, phrases like I have to or I should can create feelings of obligation and guilt, while phrases like I choose to or I want to can create a sense of empowerment and motivation. By becoming more aware of our command phrases we use, we can start to replace negative or self-defeating phrases with more positive and empowering ones. This can help shift our mindset to a more positive and supportive inner dialogue. Try to pay attention to these command phrases you use throughout the day. When you catch yourself using a negative or self-defeating phrase, try to reframe it in a more positive and empowering way. Remember step one, make sure you recognize it. So for example, instead of saying I have to go to the gym, try saying I choose to go to the gym because it makes me feel good. By understanding and using command phrases in a positive and empowering way, you can improve your dialogue and help cultivate a more positive mindset. 
The fourth step to improving is setting those realistic goals. Goals can be a powerful motivator and can help give you direction and purpose. However, it's important to make sure that your goals are achievable and realistic. Setting goals that are too difficult or unrealistic can lead to feelings of failure and frustration. This can be counterproductive and actually hinder your progress. When setting goals, start by thinking about what you want to achieve, then break down that larger goal into something smaller, something achievable. This can help make the goal feel less overwhelming and more manageable. For example, if your goal is to learn a new skill, start by breaking down that skill into smaller achievable steps, such as researching that skill, finding resources to learn, and setting aside time to practice, like if it's an instrument. By setting realistic goals and breaking them down into achievable steps, you can start to feel more confident in your abilities and have a more positive inner dialogue. The final step to improve your dialogue is to surround yourself with positivity. This means surrounding yourself with people who support and encourage you and engaging in activities that make you feel good. Negative people and situations can bring us down and in fact our inner dialogue as well. Surrounding yourself with positivity can have the opposite effect and lift us up. This can be simple as spending time with friends who make you feel good about yourself or engaging in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. It can also mean limiting your exposure to negative news or social media. By surrounding yourself with positivity, you can start to shift your mindset towards a more positive and optimistic outlook in life. Improving your inner dialogue takes practice and patience, but it's worth the effort. By becoming more aware of your thoughts, reframing negative thoughts, understanding certain phrases, setting realistic goals, and surrounding yourself with positivity, you can start to develop a more positive and empowering inner dialogue. Remember, the way you talk to yourself matters, and by changing the way you think, you can change your life. So there you have it. Five steps to improve your inner dialogue and cultivate a more positive and empowering mindset. Before we go, here's something else that might help out. Think about the music you listen to, on a regular basis, that is. Is it happy? Is it sad? What does it talk about? Music has a powerful effect on our subconscious and the messages we hear can shape the way we think and feel, especially if we're singing them out loud. So choose your music carefully and try to fill your playlist with songs that inspire and uplift you. By combining the power of self-hypnosis and positive self-talk with uplifting music, you can create a powerful tool for transforming your inner dialogue and achieving your goals. I hope you liked this video, and if you made it this far, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and also leave a comment down below for any thoughts that I might have missed, or if you'd like to share your points, I'd love to hear them. Till next time, my name is Damon, and I will see you in the next video.